Second week of qualifying has been and gone then and as you can tell by what's on your screen it was not a good one. Now it started pretty well, Friday went smoothly, Saturday went smoothly, I woke up about 5 6 o'clock on Sunday morning, had a very early night on Saturday night, I wasn't meant to be going out but I fell asleep during the first half of Denmark and Ireland which tells you all you need to know about that game. Anyway, I woke up about 5, 6 o'clock and I thought to myself, at this time of morning, surely, is the best time you could ever play weekend league. There'll be the least amount of people online. People will either be, most of Europe will either be asleep, out from Saturday night. In the past, it's always been the best time to play. You always get the most responsive gameplay and the best servers, but no. On this occasion, and this very, very important weekend, Sorry, I get my worst gameplay I have ever seen in all of FIFA 18. Everything I did was delayed, every touch felt heavy, all my players felt like they were in quicksand. It just wasn't very good at all. And I'm not just saying this because I lost three games straight away on Sunday morning. It wasn't like that at all. Even the games I was winning towards the, well, at the start, my first few games, I think I was talking to people at the time. And I'm saying I'm getting some really bad delay here. I'm 17 or 18 or 19 or one, but this isn't going to last very long. I don't know what to do. Because if it feels this delayed now, where it's 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, who knows what it's going to feel like in an hour or so's time. And I mean, I tried everything to fix it. Honestly, I reset my PlayStation, left my PlayStation off for 10 minutes. I unplugged and reconnected the cables. I reset my internet and it just wasn't having it. Every game I went into, regardless of whether I was home or away, whether what the latency bar said, it just wasn't having it. Every game was so, so delayed. I mean, we're over the two minute mark now and all I've done is sat here and made excuses. That should tell you how bad it is. I'm not saying I was playing my best favour because who knows whether I was or wasn't playing good. What I do know is that is the most shocking gameplay I have ever seen. And it makes no sense at all because I'm playing in possibly some of the best online conditions you could play in. I'm using a PS4 Pro when, well, I know there used to be a myth that if you played on a PS4 Pro you got better gameplay. I've got 300 megabyte Virgin Media Broadband, which is, I think, the best public internet available in all of England and just in them conditions at 6 in the morning you should be getting at least normal gameplay I wasn't even getting normal gameplay I was just getting I do know how to describe I mean you can probably see in the clips that you're seeing here although this is a game that I'm winning my passing in the way I'm moving things it's just it's usually a lot more precise and a lot more fluid than what you're seeing here anyway what's that now coming up three minutes of excuses i think that'll do for this video and i can start talking about things a little bit more interesting so last week i made the prediction didn't add that it would be around 152 maybe 153 out of 160 for the month that that should be the figure that will guarantee qualification although i did say i would have a better idea after viewing the leaderboards at the halfway point which is of course after the weekend just gone Having looked at it, I think that's a pretty good prediction. I think 153 will guarantee it. I think 152 you'd probably, probably be relying on skill rating. I think I'll show you at the end of this. I think there's something like 10 people on 80 out of 80. I mean, the, the standard really is scandalous. It's absolutely crazy. I know there's the argument that Xbox is a lot harder than PS4. But the margin for error is just so much smaller on PS. I mean, every single loss is really going to cost you as I found out this weekend I mean picking up them three early losses starting this video on 27 and 3 I think I'm going I went into these final 10 games knowing that another loss and it's I'm looking at needing at least 140 out of the last two weeks so all these games really really were intense I mean this one this game here you're looking at I absolutely murdered this guy and I mean murdered him I didn't show the stats at full time, don't think I included that in the video, but believe me, I think the stats at 90 minutes, it was something like 16 shots to four, and you saw his goal with Pogba, if you were concentrating on the footage and not my stupid face in the background talking, his goal with, with Pogba to equalise, I just thought to myself, people are going to think I'm making so many excuses if I don't manage to win this game, but I managed to pull it back, luckily he was rubbish, otherwise if that had been a decent player getting that sort of look, I would have been looking at a fourth loss. Now this game here, I mean, 
as you're going to see for yourselves, this is one that really, really did have my heart going. Again, I'm not going to start going on about it, but the delay I had, he, he was just another, he was a typical weekend league player, this guy. He played, you know, the diamond, he just counted, had sat his keeper and his other seven players backwards and then just counted with his th front three of Griezmann, Martial and Ousmane Dembele and I just couldn't do anything about it at all and he's another one. I was playing with a pretty high line, I mean what I started to do because of the delay I thought none of my custom tactics are working because my players can't move. I had to start playing the high pressure custom tactic from the start. I was pausing when I was going 4-4-2 and making my changes at the start of the game. I just I was just pressing high pressure because I just felt I had no other option. Now in this game, as you can see there, I did I did still have from the start of the game a loan of Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's probably a good job I did as he equalised for me there. He put a nice ball through to Rui Costa to put us 3-2 up there. And I'm thinking at this point, Cristiano has done the job, but no, what was I thinking? He gets the ball on the edge of the box with Griezmann, whips it into the left top corner, and I can't believe what happens next. Penalty shootout. Now, at this point, believe me, I'm one of them people I get quite nervous, in FIFA anyway, I get quite nervous quite easily at any sort of event or any sort of time I'm playing in a big game or a game of any importance. I start to get that horrible feeling in my stomach. I, th I think it's just nerves, but at this point, knowing that another loss would start to make it a bit of a mission impossible for me to qualify, my heart at this point, honestly, was like, I could feel it banging on my ribs. Honestly, it was just crazy. I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't concentrate. All my hands were shaking. All this over a weekend league game, I know, but I just couldn't. I honestly felt like my stomach was going to fall out of my ass. I just had that horrible feeling. But look at this. We are seven penalties in and we actually have an opportunity to win the game. And do we do it? Yes, we do. Unbelievably, I stayed on the middle and I win a rare penalty shootout. <clears throat> now, those of you that paid any attention to my progress on FIFA 17 whatsoever will know I had an absolutely shocking penalty record. I reckon I lost about 8% of my penalty shootouts in FIFA 17, so it is nice to win my first one, first competitive one in FIFA 18. I have had a couple in draft, but they don't really count. Although I have been winning more than I've been losing. If you saw that penalty shot, by the way, I actually guessed the right way for three out of his four, but one of them, I guessed correctly the direction and like you know the height and he now he decides to just kindly jump over it now i forgot what this guy's psn is but i just want to say a massive apology for what's about to happen here because man here whoop see you later rainbow flick back post ruby costa three nil and can you blame that guy for quitting i really can't i think if i'd have had that happen to me i'd have also quit in fact one of my losses this week the guy shielded me, he had the ball on the edge of the box he was shielding me, he then flicked it with Ronaldo, he then flicked it back over his own head and volleyed it into the top corner to make it 3-0 to him and I was like nah I got my coat, that's me done and off I went, I actually rage quit a game this weekend, this is the sort of luck that I was having, well not really luck because that guy absolutely destroyed me, my other two losses I didn't get destroyed I'll, obviously I was getting some horrendous gameplay but the other two losses I didn't really deserve to lose that third go uh, loss where the guy flicked it over my head and volleyed it into the top corner I think it's fair to say I really did deserve to lose so unbelievably going into these last few games I do actually manage to go phone up in this game I think when I score this he quits yeah he does and I think that leaves us with one maybe two more games to hang on to a 37 37 is, I think it's below the average you're going to need week by week to qualify, but with me getting 39 last week, I did leave myself with a tiny little margin for error, and it's fair to say I made the most of that margin with three losses, even before I'd got into my final 10 games. Now, on your screen there, I mean... What are you actually supposed to do? I was pressing the tackle again and again and again. And look at this goalie. I mean, this is the sort of thing that was happening to me. I was pressing buttons that were just happening, you know, like a full set. I was, I'd say I was getting on average about 0 0.5 to a full second of button delay. Now, I'm mentioning my excuses again, and I will try and stop. But excuses were almost needed in this game. But I did get a bit of luck there. Mane, straight check. I don't know why. 
people use Petr Cech on this game. He's absolutely terrible. Gets down like an old man. If you hit, like, if you hit a low shot against Petr Cech, he's either not going to save it at all, or he's going to do like a terrible parry back into your player's path. Now watch this. This is the sort of trick you're going to need in a weekend where things are not going your way. This is the sort of thing you're going to need to pull out the bag. 86 minutes, cheeky free kick, puts Bale through one on one. He doesn't read it at all, and Afanesis into the far corner. And I think that takes us into one final game. Yes, it does. This is our final game of the weekend. This is for a 37 and 3, which is obviously poor by my standards, by the standards of someone hoping to qualify, but. In the circumstances, we'll take it. And this is for the 76 out of 80. We bury that from kickoff. Kickoffs are, as we all know, very, very broken. But on this occasion, we're not going to complain because that quit has landed us on 37 and 3. I'm obviously disappointed to miss the top 100 weekly, especially when I've seen the team of the week today. I'm recording this on Wednesday. But what can you do? The important thing is monthly. I'm only outside the top 64 on skill written and I am going to try and rectify that this upcoming week. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to me below because you won't want to miss what's coming next. Yes, it's finally happened. EA have given us a decent team of the week and I am going to be opening all my packs. I'm, could, I'm going to potentially say it could be the biggest ever for Champions Rewards pack opening so you don't want to miss it.